Hi everyone, welcome to a very quick and easy tutorial for Mini Junkie. My name is Jarrett. So with the release of Kill Team, which includes some really cool new orcs, the up upcoming 40k orc army, Oruk Cruel Boys from Age of Sigmar. There's all kinds of green skin to, to paint these days. Uh, here's some examples. I don't have any 40k orcs to show you, but I, I've been painting up a Cruel Boys army. And I'm going to show you how to do this tone of flesh in a way that's really easy, only needs a few paints, and it's really ideal for army painting, I would say. Now I don't show priming in this video and this uh, skin technique will be shown kind of in the middle of a work in progress uh, orc so you can sort of see when and where you can bring this technique in in the process of painting one. But you're going to want to start with either like a light gray or a white primer or a xenithal prime. It only takes these four colors and if you wanted you could even cut out the druchi violet and the, um, the light green color. The first color we're going to use is Militarum Grey and you can see at the bottom the color pigments whatever they are tend to uh, settle so really really give this a good shake. I use one of those um, vortex shakers with like a, a bead or a, a ball bearing inside for mixing and really really shake it up because it's going to form the basis of the flesh. So first step is super simple it's just painting militarum green all over the light colored areas of the flesh now because we're going for fast and easy i'm not thinning this down with anything not water not contrast medium i'm using it neat right out of the pot with a you know just kind of an average size brush and the main thing is just to try and keep it from spilling over into already painted areas even if you do you could probably very quickly uh, wet your brush and just wipe it off and you know, the nature of contrast paints is such that it's probably not going to make a big mess even if it does overflow. It's not like a really opaque um, color that, you know, if you get a big blob of red on, on the leather or something like that. And while I'm applying this, you're going to see um, that I'm going to be wicking up any excess that gets on there. So whenever I get an area, here's, here's an example where it's just too much, right? And I'm just going to use the br bristles of the brush to, to soak that up and just leave enough that it's going to create a nice shadow but it's not going to be blotchy it's not going to be overly pooled blotchiness kind of forms from contrast paints when you don't soak up those um, you know those poolings or those blobs a uh, quick tip use a hair dryer with contrast paints or, or washes or inks to move quickly through your steps here's an optional step this adds a little bit of depth to the flesh just taking some druchy violet druchy druchy anyway some some violet wash and I'm just applying it again no thinning I haven't you know added water to this or anything it's right out of the pot and I'm applying it to sort of like joints or deep recessed areas kneecaps you know kind of like where the toes are anywhere that just you might want to add a little bit of visual interest to the flesh so that it's not just green but again this is very subtle and for an army I would say super optional at most maybe you want to do it on characters uh, you know your generals and things like that. It's really good for the face area. So for cheeks um, The hollows of the cheeks the the frown line areas and whatnot um, It's a great way to add some depth, but very optional So we're gonna start with orc flesh now That's one of the new paints from GW and I didn't really like it as just like a base color I found it's too thin for that. So that's why I'm starting with the militarm green and instead, once the Militarum and, and this Druchi Violet are dry, I'm using Auric Green as the highlight color. Turns out, you know, after trying a few different ones, it's actually kind of perfect color, perfect shade, just light enough, a little bit of transparency, really nice for creating some highlights on top of the Militarum Green that we've applied as our base coat. You want to go around and apply this just lightly with a, with a detail brush to any raised areas, so bulging muscles, ripples in the skin, kneecap, wrinkles, I don't know how to describe most of these things, um, any raised areas, so you know, at the top of his head, his chin, and it's just gonna, it's gonna help do two things. One, it's gonna eliminate any of that sort of blotchiness from the contrast paint, which is a pretty frequent thing that can happen with them. And two, it's just gonna bring, you know, highlights and definition and contrast to the miniature. Now I mentioned leaders and characters, so one way to think about this is with your units and grunts where you're painting a lot of them, you can move through this step real quickly and just sort of hit 
all the high points and, and not try to be too precise. But then when you get into your characters like this banner bearer, just spending a little more time to do it neatly and to just bring out um, you know a lot of what makes the, the sculpt look really good and just sort of emphasize that where you place your highlights. So for a second highlight, this is, I mean, arguably the, an optional step. I'm going to add some green gray from AK Interactive. Just that you can use any sort of light color. I wouldn't go all the way to white necessarily, but any white color, <laughs> light colored uh, paint, you can add to the auric flesh to make it bright for this next highlight. Uh, another good example could be Ushabti Bone, or you could use Karak Stone, any color like that. I'm using this color because it's kind of greenish tinged and it's going to lighten the, the um, auric flesh nicely. And then I'm going to probably add just a little bit of water. You can't quite see it on my coffee stirrer here. Uh, and I don't even use a wet palette. I just, it's just never something I'm able to stick with. I just use a palette well. Uh, so here you can see I'm adding more highlights, more to the face. Uh, the face is the focal point of the miniature. You want to draw the, draw the eye to it. So brightening up the face is always a good idea. And then I'm really just going to go around to all the spots I highlighted with the auric flesh and fill in a little bit less of the area with my brush. And that's it's basically layering. That's what we're doing. We're layering on highlights to bring a little more definition, a little more contrast. Now I'm leaving this footage up a little bit longer, even though I think you, you probably get the point. And just to sort of let you have a look at where I'm applying these slightly smaller highlights with the brighter color that we've created with this with this mix with the auric flesh. Um, while we're at it, I'll just mention, uh, feel free to subscribe. I appear to be on a, like a three to six month cadence on videos, so fast and furious. Um, if you subscribe and even click the bell notification, um, you'll be alerted on the rare, rare occasion that I upload a new video. Uh, you know, I'd really like to get doing them more often. But anyway, hopefully you're enjoying this one and, and feel free to subscribe if you are. And give it a like. I love getting likes on videos. That really helps as well. So another optional step, and again, I would say this is ideal for your character models and your leaders um, because it's, you know, it, it's something you probably don't need to do for your units or your rank and file um, or your grunts but i'm just going to add a bit more of the light color you can see you know i'm showing you on here just to show how much i've added um, you know i'll add a little bit of water to it just to, to make it go on a little smoother and this is a very bright and and very small highlight that i'm pretty much just going to do on the face again like i said the folk the focal point of the miniature is the face that's where the eye is drawn to and it's always, well, it's a good idea a lot of the time to brighten that up even more, add more detail, take your time on the face and just really punch it up so that when a person looks at the model, their eye will, will go to the face and it's looking bright and it's looking great. I'm saying a lot of words to say something so simple. That's the whole tutorial, guys. It's that simple to paint orc flesh quick and easy. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.